I'm Chris Palmer at Faro and welcome to part 8 in a Point Sense Revit tutorial series. In this video we're going to be looking at the new one-sided wall extraction feature inside Point Sense Revit 17, the fit polygon to a scan profile tool and the same as family tool in relation to wall sweeps. So I'm just going to quickly now show you the version of Point Sense Revit that I'm currently running so you know whether to expect these features in your version of the software and I'm just going to go to the wall base level now which I've created and you can see we have this area of the site which has been scanned only from the outside so I'm just going to crop that down so that we can use the prepare point cloud tool on this area and if we just now go to the prepare point cloud tool you will see in version 17 we can now set the pixel resolution when we do this so I've got three millimeters here we could make this one millimeter pixel resolution Generally, for this area, a 3mm resolution is OK. 1mm um, might be a little bit washed out. And you might notice as you test this, um, depending on the size of the area and the density of the point cloud, you might need to adjust the resolution slightly just to get the best result. So I'm just going to insert this into a copied view. We can go and have a look at this. Now obviously, we only have one side of this fitted, uh, one side of this wall scanned. So we're going to have to fit this based on wall thicknesses that we know. So we need to have a good understanding of what wall thickness we're going to actually fit in this place. So I go to the fit wall command. I'm going to select the level. And we now have this fit only one wall face button, which I'm going to tick. I'm then going to do the same thing I would normally and select two points. And this is going to best fit against the strongest line. And as you can see, we can switch that wall face around and it's saying here the detected thickness is unknown so I'm inserting a, a selected wall type that I've predefined 650 millimeters thick and we're just going to go and run that again so we can switch the wall face or we can insert this tile again move down here now we've probably got a slightly different wall thickness and a slightly different wall size so I'm just going to change the top constraint now go back and run this tool again two selections left and right now you can see this is looking at the strongest face but it's actually the wrong way around so we need to switch that wall face around and change the wall thickness to the correct size and then we can just select the next bit in the sequence switch that wall face if we need to and insert that selected type we'll just close off this last little corner here now just insert that selected type and then what we can do, now we've got all of these walls fitted, we can go to our Align Walls command, highlight these as normal, click Finish. We're going to leave this wall axis unchanged and update these results and then click OK. Now we have these walls fitted to one side of the scan data or to one face of the scan data and we've joined them all up together. Let's just hide the point cloud off to show them we can move on to the next feature. So the first thing we're going to do now is go to the point sense ribbon and use the fit plane with one point command and we're going to select a point on the wall where we want to create the new profile. I can then fit this plane to a perpendicular or parallel axis to this point or change the x, y, y, z or x, z directions but we're going to use a um, particular plane and we're going to pick a wall face I'm just going to pick this face here and we're going to create a plane that's parallel to this wall face at that particular point we can then give this plane a name so we can just call this uh, wall sweep plane and we're then just going to click OK I'm just going to zoom out now and I'm going to just create or just minimize the size of this plane because it's obviously expanded to the size of our original point cloud and just drag it down until it's just surrounding the area that I want to model this profile. So let's bring this down here now and we can just minimize that there. I'm then going to go to the view tab at the top and I'm going to use the selection box um, tool to fit this selection box to this reference plane. So you can see there now we've got a couple of different profiles that we could look at modeling. We'll probably look at this middle one or this top one. 
and what we can do is we can also hide off that uh, reference plane if we want to but if we just go to the left hand view and we can just drag the selection box in so it's as thin as it needs to be around that particular plane so we get a nice thin profile on the points and I'm just going to hide off that reference plane if I just zoom in now we can see there's different profiles on this wall which we could look at modeling if I just go to the top then we can see we've got this kind of um, uh, part that stands proud at the wall face at the top sort of like a cornice so the first thing we're going to do then is I'm just going to go to my architecture tab and model line and I'm just going to roughly sketch uh, a model line over the top of this not being too accurate just literally dropping this in roughly around the area that it is once I've done that I can go to my point sense tab and let's just hide off the point cloud to show what we achieved there and then I can go to the fit polygon tool I select one point, point on the line here I can choose a few settings about the smoothing and the thickness of the point cloud and whether or not I want to add segments and then I click start so what this is going to do is it's going to best fit those model lines to the point cloud obviously the more accurately you do the initial fitting or the initial sketch the better the result so there we are if I just hide the point cloud off now you can see that's changed that profile slightly just to best fit it to the slice of the point cloud and now we can look at saving this out to create a wall sweep I'm just going to lift the scale a little bit here so we can see this line a little bit clearer and then I'm just going to go to the point sense ribbon and we're going to go to the save as family icon in here now we're going to choose a template to save this line to so I'm going to choose a metric profile hosted click OK we're then going to go to select model lines one click of the first model line which then selects all of the lines you can see here it says we've now got seven lines selected and we can give this family a name so wall sweep example and save as an RFA file press start and we're just going to save that family file out onto my desktop let's go then and open that file up now because we need to do a slight edit on this before we bring it back in again So if we open this up we can see we've got this line now saved into the family template however what we need to do is just highlight these lines and mirror them so that they're facing the correct direction in this particular template so I'm going to go to the mirror command untick copy here and just select the middle axis here and we're just going to move this profile slightly into the insertion point okay just slightly move that forward and I'm just going to leave it a little bit clear of the front face so we can then close these lines off with the um, line tool close this entire profile into a closed loop just to give us a bit of space to fit this against the wall Let's just close that one out there okay we'll just press save on that and I'm going to load that back into the project so now I'm going to go to overwrite the existing version and its parameters and if we go to my project browser and scroll to the bottom now inside our profile section in the families we have this wall sweep example so the next stage then is to go to our 3d view so we're just going to go now hide that point cloud off and I'm just going to get rid of this section box zoom out slightly and we're going to go to the architecture tab and we're going to go to wall sweeps first of all I'm just going to lift this wall up slightly there we go and we'll just go to now to the architecture tab and wall sweeps we have a wall sweep here, this is a standard wall sweep, you can see this is the default profile however if we go to edit type and duplicate this we can call this one wall sweep example And what we're now going to do is we're now going to go and change the profile under construction here to our new profile which we've saved out so we've got wall sweep example here and just go and click OK as you can see now as we hover over the wall this is now enabling us to insert this particular wall sweep on the wall as a defined profile so this is a good way if you've got lots of repeating um, details throughout your project such as cornices, skirtings, etc, etc 
particularly for historic buildings, we can save these out as profiles and reuse these profiles on multiple walls. So now I can drop these, this same profile onto this wall here if I want to, and likewise on the front here.